45 degrees here in Capitan, New Mexico this morning. All you people from Texas are saying, can you believe it? <laughs> I'm from Texas, I know. Hot, isn't it? Yeah, y'all are getting some hot weather in Texas for sure. But anyway, today is the first day of the rest of your life. Make it a good one. It's the day after yesterday, day before tomorrow. It is right now. And right now just went right by. Didn't even feel it, did you? You know, it's funny. You can't feel time. I'm glad you can't, really. It's just like you can't feel your stomach digesting food. But anyway, enough said. Never worry about why you can't, what you cannot change. And then what else? Uh, still here in my Class C motorhome under a cover, which is really nice because yesterday it got up to about 85 degrees here in Capitan for a high. And uh, I realize that's some of you guys' lows in Texas. But anyway, uh, it was nice, it, it, except for one, one thing. It was windy. Yesterday was windy. <clears throat> but yeah, I sat out for a while and read magazines that I picked up at the library. Here, you can go to the library and pick up, you know, old magazines, you know, say three to six months old for free. And so, you know, if I haven't read the magazine anyway, do I care if it's three to six, three to six months old? No. So anyway, let's do some comments, Rusty. That's why we're here. Al Fur says, thumbs up. Well, thumbs up to you. And what else? Leanne 49. Hello, Leanne 49. Love the adventurous ride-along videos with amazing views. Yes, it has been extremely hot here in Spring, Texas. And thank God for the inventor of the air conditioner. Air, enjoy it and thanks. Yes, the air conditioning is uh, definitely necessary in the southern part of the United States now. Well, probably all over the U.S. or the world, actually. I mean, it's not any better anywhere else. Will Hunt. He says, we looked at park models in resorts. Monthly costs are going up. We use a RV park on a military base, and they have doubled the price in five years to $90 a night per, per night now. Wow. That's crazy. I know, I know there's a lot of them getting 45 and up to 60, but I didn't realize they were up to 90 in places. No, that's... Anyway, that's what it is. Uh, James Micken. Great drive. Thank you, Rusty. <clears throat> Says, I enjoy watching New Mexico's countryside from South Australia. Well, thank you, James, in South Australia. Let's see. that You guys are just getting over winter or in the middle of winter down there, I guess. But anyway, thank you, James. G'day, mate. Der Trixa from the north in Germany says, hello, Rusty. Hello, Der Trixa. Good morning. Good Morgan, or whatever you say it. This is D. Floyd 888 on uh, driving stuff. Says, there is one thing about owning, even if it is a small spot that has a full hookup, nobody can kick you out. And you can do things, assuming there are no deed restrictions, like add sheds, outbuildings for washer, dryer. I've seen RV chalets, which were designed for one to park on the their RV under carport similar to Rusty's, but they have a building so one can go inside for a real shower and use a washer and dryer. Yeah, well, you know, my home in Texas is like that. That's what the way it was built. It's got a huge cover, and then at one end, it's got a one-bedroom home with a washer and dryer and a kitchen and all that stuff. Yeah, and that's pretty neat. Now, I like, I like that layout. Works good for me. S.J. Bach. Saw a photo of X and Y chromosomes taken through an electron microscope. The Y actually looked more like an X that was missing one of its legs. Yeah, well, you know, it's it's just amazing to me what's going on in, in human bodies that we're uh, totally unaware of. You know, there's cells dividing and and wars being waged, you know, against bacteria and viruses and stuff. Yeah, it's interesting. I got a gnat. It seems to be a dead gnat. Anyway, Alice Smith. Buenos Dias from the City of Champions. I think the RV park you were thinking of is Tropical Trails. Yeah, I couldn't think of the name of it. Yeah, it's in Brownsville. One of my guy friends from East Texas has stayed there with a ham radio group and says it's a great place. 
the hams report that the Wi-Fi is very good, which these guys use quite a bit. Enjoyed the drive. Thank you, Alice. Enjoy your day. Al Alvin Mousseau, awesome video on mail call. <laughs> yeah, one of my silly videos, or all of them are silly, I guess. But no, that's just I just do that because people go to the trouble to send me something in the mail. I try to get to everybody. I know I miss one every now and then, but, you know, that's do the best I can. King for a day. Folks moved in and took Texas and other southwestern states from Mexico. Treaty of Guadalupe Hidalgo. Much the same way Spain moved in and took what is now Mexico from the Aztecs, Mayas, etc. Yeah, that's just history, you know. And uh, big fish eat little fish. And it was the, the technology uh, edge that they had that allowed them to be victorious. Stuart Spicer, Rusty, what about selling your Class C and talking your son into selling you the casita you once had? It would make a great home base for Mex for New Mexico under the shelter. Uh, my, my, no, my son sold it a long time ago, but thank you, the casita. King for a day, Frank Ab 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 Abagnale, Catch me if you can. Mainly posed as an off-duty airline pilot in Europe to get free flights. Never actually flew an airplane. No, he never flew one, but he got free flights. Yeah, that, he was on Johnny Carson's a character, man. Yeah, he he, he was just a con. You know, he, he was just, uh, he had the guts to try things. The Dogman Chronicles. Mail calls are always fun. Thanks, Rusty. I'm the one who sent you the white, the white, Olight flashlight. Yeah, the one I used for the zithering, the, uh, the mail call. Yeah, that thing works, man. I mean, it's super bright. Thank you, Jim. Check his channel out on YouTube. Kenneth Kilpatrick. Look for small towns on interstates with a number of RV parks. Competition keeps monthly rates very reasonable, a lot less than $700. Nice to have beautiful scenery and great weather, but you pay extra for that. Restaurants in those desirable areas are much more expensive, too. I'm partial to Deming, New, ne New Mexico. Quick drive to Las Cruces for more choices, but these days only need so much. Yeah, 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 no, that's, that's true. You know, you, you get to these touristy areas. Like, if you want to stay in Taos or in Santa Fe, you're going to pay for it. Redefine rare earth elements. That's the person's name. Please keep this. So very important. No attorney can bring it down. Uh, that's a, this is Lano, that was on Lano Earth Arts Festival 2019. Face painting and air plants, etc. Yeah, I don't know what he's talking about there, but yeah, I, it, I'm keeping it. I'm not taking it down. RV Living with the Geezer. Check his channel out. <clears throat> uh, Rusty, unfortunately, I can't afford to buy in Fort Davis, but I found Olympia Creek RV Park. Beautiful place, four twenty-five a month, all utilities included. Yes, that includes electricity and excellent Wi-Fi. I'm here to stay. Yeah, that's good. I mean, I'm glad you got your place there in Fort Davis. I know it's hot there now, but you know that's not that's unusual. Actually, we'll enjoy it. Check his channel out on YouTube. This person's name is Jeez. Letting you in to drive by was so nice of that guy. I love that. Letting you in to drive by. Oh, yeah, I guess somebody did something nice. Thank you. Penny Piper, thanks for sharing. You're very welcome. Penny Piper. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. How many pickled peppers can Peter Piper pick? <laughs> Remember you used to say that years ago, yeah. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. It's hard to say it without screwing it up. Uh, she sells seashells by the seashore and stuff like that. Geez, Rusty, we never see your hair sticking up until you bend, bend your head down to pat it. Yeah, I hear you. I probably screw it up myself, but that's all right. It doesn't matter. You know my hair is what it is. Just a bunch of gray wires. You know, I don't call it hair anymore. <laughs> Shit. Uh, D. Anderson, 
I can't see Rusty staying in an RV park for more than two nights with all the annoying old bags with barking dogs harassing him. Well, you know, I asked those questions up front. <coughs> and most, most RV owners know where the, where the noise is. In other words, they know who's got the barking dogs. They know who's hard of hearing and turns their TV up as loud as they can. And they know who has an outside TV that's sitting outside or, or leaving it on outside or has outside speakers in on their RV and forget they've got the outside speakers on, you know. You know, so we got all these things added to RVs that just make noise. I don't know why we're so into noise, but we are. Sashi Smith, hi Rusty, very beautiful drive with nice share. Sure, thank you. Fred Schrader, most problems seem to be with sloppy installation. Not the top itself, who installs it can make you smile or frown. That was on the Lear 180 pickup camper top, yeah, on my uh, Dodge Ram back when. You know, I liked that top. It was okay. Boondocking with Dennis. Thumbs up to you. Check his channel out on YouTube. Getting hot down in Rockport, ain't it? I know it's getting hot down there. You know, Victoria, Texas, I think set some records. Sheridan Gay. Happy early birthday and enjoy it, Rusty. I will. I'm, I'm planning on being in Taos, New Mexico on my birthday. We'll see. Uh, why? I, I like Taos, even though it's a busy little touristy town. Uh, the square is kind of neat. And uh, I know my way around there because I've been there a few times. And I like, you know, the Rio Grande Gorge. You know, you go out to the bridge over the gorge and walk out there and look. It's pretty nice. And then you, it's just in the, in the drive... The Enchanted Circle Drive is really pretty from Taos to Cuesta, Red River, Eagle Nest, Angel Fire, and back. Pretty nice. Takes about two hours or so. Thank you. Uh, Matt Richardson's really, you can't, really you can't go away for a couple of days. Most nomads enjoy a change of scenery. I, I can do anything I want to, Matt. I'm not sure I'm reading your comment right. Sherry Sparkle. I really think you had some good ideas. I'm, I do what did I do. I've read that already. I don't. My son doesn't have the casita. Sold it years ago. Uh, o M Steve DIY and travels. I don't know what that means either. Boondocking with Dennis says, happy early birthday. Thank you. I'd say that's pretty early, about a month. <laughs> Curtis Stewart, 857 miles from Mexico City to San Antonio, Texas. I thought it was farther than that. Uh, well, you know, you got it's, it's, a, it's a rough walk, you know what I mean? And, you know, they were walking and on horseback pulling cannons and wagons and all kinds of stuff, you know, to... to the logistics of moving 10,000 men with horses is, un I'm surprised we ever have a war. You know what I mean? Because you, you, you got to know a, it, when a war is coming because they got to get all the logistics in place to, 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 go, to go forward, you know, particularly a land war. You know, we don't have many of those anymore. Now we use drones and stuff and, and, and tanks that can fire for 60 or 80 miles. Boondocking with Dennis, always a treat, humor, and coffee. Yep, yeah, it's, it's a good day to live, isn't it? Levi Brewer says, I'm here trying to save the farm with all this wind, keep watering. Yeah, you, you're up on there, that hill. Yeah. <clears throat> Vita S says, I'm loving that windbreaker. Yeah, I got a really colorful windbreaker. And some people made some really, well, that's a good comment there. Thank you. Steven says, ah, I forgot to put on my 300-pound seamen helmet. Uh, yeah, well, I forgot to say that. And I also forgot to say that about, uh, you know, put on your protective lenses. But then the reason I was, I'm off on that is because without the bucket of honor, you know, it's kind of, I just hit and miss. But I do the best I can. Mac Brazzy, Brazzy, I guess, or Brazel, I guess. You can kick right through it, and $16,000 isn't cheap. 
when he's talking about the tiny home, Home Depot. Big Boss Man, did Rusty have too many beer 30s or, ha or has he gone loopy because his fickleness got sh shot down? That was on mail call. Yeah, yeah, a lot of people think I'm crazy, but, you know, that just proves it, that's all. And that's just, that, that, that puts the icing on the cake. Anyway, we'll do some more here. Texas lady, LOL, nice zithering. Yeah, that that light works. Thank you, Jim. Uh, HWMO Liberty says, you're funny. Hey, my birthday is July 6th. We're the same sign, Cancer the Crab. Yeah, I guess so. I'm not I, I'm not big on those signs and stuff. There was a lady, I was in Cloudcroft yesterday. I got me a BLT and... Uh, really nice and cool there i have to tell you i think it was like 65 degrees for a high and uh but there was a lady that had a deck of cards reading people's fortune i guess and uh yes i i, I didn't do it i don't want to know scotty thompson cool video talk nice red shirt cool video talk thank you scotty the mass bowler from wisconsin uh we'll do three more here Debbie Wilson, beautiful view. We'll be in Ruidoso at the end of the month. Well, good. Good for you. You'll enjoy it. Uh, PJ Bikerful. Good morning, PJ. Welcome, Rusty's Rangers and all new subscribers. On your feet. Fall in for Rusty's world-famous mail call. Yep, I got, I got one. <laughs> How you doing, PJ? Says he's still here. <laughs> uh... Here's Stephen Clint Airy, last one. Oh, well, yeah, last one. Great little cruise and advice, Rusty. Thanks for showing the lake and scenery. Yeah, it was just a nice drive around, and I'd never been up there to that lake. And I thought, well, while I'm here at this place nearby, I'll just swing over there and see what it is. But anyway, having said that, from Capitan, New Mexico, where it is right now, still 46 degrees, thumbs up. Carpe diem. Carpe diem means seize the day in Latin. Carpe diem. Adios. Bye bye. Buy anything you want. Anytime. If you think about it, use the Amazon link. Some of you are. Some of you have. Thank you very much. Here's the old goat giving you a Sunday morning kiss. Stinking goat. Anyway, what else? Drink plenty of water. Three or, three or four quarts a day won't hurt you. It's good for you. It'll help you avoid gout, kidney stones, and it'll also help you lose weight because you'll be full of water, and you will not want to eat so much as in snack. And the only way to lose weight and keep it off, and you know it and I know it, eat less. That's it. You know what I mean? Get a smaller plate. That helps. It does. And then what else? Take deep breaths. Breathe in really deep. Hold it for a few seconds and then breathe out slowly. Why? Because that relieves stress and relieving stress does what? Lowers your blood pressure. Is that good for you? Yes. Do it several times a day. You'll never never regret it. And then what else? Stretch. Stretch your hands, fingers too. Stretch. 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 Swivel, swivel, swivel. Walk, walk, walk. Pedal, pedal, pedal. Exercise your body once or twice every single day. Why? Because you'll feel better immediately and you may live longer, healthier because of that one thing. And then uh, what else? Uh, stand guard at the door of your mind. This is your head, your brain, your frontal lobes, your consciousness. All those little neurons in there are forming neural links, which is every single thought, dream, memory you have ever had in your entire life life. So give your neurons something positive to work with. Accentuate the positive. Eliminate the negative. Enjoy your life one day or one moment at a time. At ease, carry on. Adios. Bye-bye. Hasta luego. Vaya con Dios. Aloha. Until the next softball video. Yeah, we're doing all right. Enjoy your life. Enjoy your day. Carry on. <laughs> Sunday morning coming down.